you. Our team coverage continues tonight with CBS News Miami's Yvonne Taylor. He joins us live from Aventura, where afternoon storms have caused lots of flooding problems in the area. Yvonne? And to be quite exact, we are on the back of a shopping plaza, Elliot and Lauren. This has been the scenario for now over six hours. It's a shopping center located between the city of Aventura and North Miami. And the consequences of this flooding for the businesses, atrocious. This is not how the owner of this business planned to start the day. You're looking at a Middle Eastern and Israeli restaurant in Northeast Miami, totally flooded. Nahum Balayla and his employees went through a race against time to protect everything inside. We picked it up because it's a, it's, it was impossible. No, we're not, we're not going to open for business. You're not going to no, open at all? No, no, maybe at the end of the day. So, and, and like in 15 minutes, it was flooding complete. It is the result of Monday's downpour at this shopping plaza on Northeast 186th Street and Dixie Highway at the rodeo shops. From Chopper 4 Aerial Video, you can see the magnitude of the flooding in the area. Even the gas pumps of a gas station were nearly covered. Balayla, who says he's owned his business for 23 years, took us through the back of the place to show us what caused the flooding. So since the restaurant is going to be closed, how much money approximately will you be losing by being closed? I don't know. Depends. Two, three, four thousand. And he's not the only one affected. When we came to the store, everything was flooded all over here to the front door. At this smartphone store where we were invited in, they were still using the mops. The buckets were full. Employees worried. As you can see, we're kind of curious about what happened because it wasn't a big storm. Evidently big enough to cost all this. I have to cancel my whole day. I'm cleaning up like it's, it was, there was flooding. I know it doesn't look like it now, but it's gone now. And then the obvious worry with the recent torrential rains. Insurance. And what are you going to do now? I don't know. We don't, I don't think we have insurance, flood insurance. And is there a flood insurance here? I believe so. I believe so we do. Hopefully. <laughs> <clears throat> Hopefully it's what many business owners are telling us this evening, especially those who fear more rain in the area and particularly the ones who shared with us that their houses were flooded in Broward last week. Harsh reality. Live in Northeast Miami, Ivan Taylor, CBS News, Miami. Harsh reality for a lot of people. Ivan, thank you. For